Drive Time on RTE Radio 1, sponsored by Zurich. When investment performance matters, make sure your savings are with Zurich. Visit zurich.ie to find out more. Let's go from Paris now to Cork because concerns have been raised about the level of tree felling and vegetation removal in the upgrading of a section of the Black Rock to Passage West Greenway in Cork. In widening the path from 3 to 5 metres, around 46 trees, including some of which the council said had been, had been deemed unsafe, well, they were removed. But local ecologists and politicians are alarmed at the uh, level of clearance work that was done around the uh, felling. They say there seems to be a mania to beautify through engineering and it could take 100 years to build up the uh, biodiversity again. That's what they said. I've been speaking to Dr Owen Latisse, who's a lecturer in plant science at UCC, who noticed this on his walk last weekend. I was on the um, the Greenway on the Marina, which is a wonderful um, open space and, and green space in Cork City uh, on Saturday last. I think I was down there with, with family um, uh, getting some exercise in. And um, really the issue is some really heavy-handed clearance of the uh, undergrowth and the trees down there, um, which disturbed me to say the least um mm. i i think it's all to do with a a new greenway uh, being put through there and that's a very welcome development i think it's good to get people out of cars get to people um cycling and walking around the place um i think this could have been done better in terms of how the area was was prepared let's say uh, for that work um but, but it's, having it's, said it's all of that owen um, locals generally are probably happy that this is happening. I mean, it's improving the amenity that's already there. Uh, it's widening the existing walkway from three to five metres, adding more access points in a way. And they're also planting more trees or will be along the way. I mean, what's not to like here? Yeah, uh, I mean, as I mentioned, it, it's it's largely good news, this Greenway, because it, it is a welcome development in the marina. Um, the City Council has actually done some great work in terms of pedestrianising that area uh, to give people that that space. But look, people go to these green spaces and go to these public parks in order to be close to nature um, and in order to, um, to, to be around trees and green space, animals, birds and so on. Um, and what, what's happened here is that we've, um, uh, you know, the City Council has removed um, that natural space, um, at least in a number of areas along the Greenway. So I, I'm all for the the, um, the improvements. Improving access is a good thing. Uh, you know, widening it is probably necessary in places. Uh, but I think it, because we're in the middle of a biodiversity crisis, um, you know, we need to hold on to what we have in terms of of, of urban biodiversity. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, I take the point of planting more trees and the City Council has come out um, uh, and said they will plant more trees. And look, uh, I am, um, you know, that's a good thing. Um, it's But it doesn't replace what's lost. Um, you know, all green spaces are not equal. And I, I fear what we'll get here is... Um, the the uh, removal of a very natural green space uh, and, and a natural ecosystem with all of the benefits that ecosystem provides. Uh, and what we get is a very manicured, almost sterile um, replacement. Uh, when, you which, say, you know, it, it, when you say, and they'll be planting new trees along the way, and they say that'll mitigate the damage done, you say it won't replace, uh, replace what's lost. Um, will it not be replaced over time? I mean, will that natural habitat grow again over time? Yeah, I mean, for those people who aren't familiar with the Greenway or with the with the Black Rock Line, it's a, it's an old railway line heading down to towards Carriga Line and it is that's been closed, I think, since the 1930s. So the, the, the space there has had 90 years at least to develop and that ecosystem has developed over at least 90 years, if not longer. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, you're right, it will presumably over time, it will certainly um, return to a more natural 
um, state. But that's not going to happen very quickly. And uh, and what's happened here is we've lost something that we have now. I mean, you've got to hold on what, to what you've got in terms of your bi- urban biodiversity. And and what we've done is we've lost this very cheaply, uh, you know, I think. Um, and replacing it is all well and good but it doesn't replace the the homes for birds the uh, homes for insects for uh, pollinators uh, the food for pollinators and so on so i think we're um uh, we, this was lost needlessly i think really um but, and but the council in fairness did say that some of back. those trees uh, they, they, they were saying that some of those trees were were dead or damaged anyway yeah, I noted that um, it didn't. The, the the statement didn't detail how many of those trees were dead. Uh, it just said some of them were dead. Um, so we'll take that at face, uh, you know, at uh, face value. Um, mm-hmm. I think uh, you always need to manage trees in an ur- in an urban environment where you've got um, you've got lots of. Uh, demands on the space let's say walkers cyclists you have to manage the uh, the environment there and the city council by and large does a, a pretty good job of that but i think um i think in this case it's it's overstepped the market i think and um you know it's, it's a difficult and a challenging job to manage green spaces like that but i think first and foremost why is that space there it's it's there because people want to experience nature in the heart of the city yeah. uh, and by removing that and replacing it with with you know trees carefully manicured and and uh, pathways carefully manicured i think we lose something of the of the the charm and the the bio, certainly the biodiversity value of those spaces do, do you know what the irony here is uh, owen i think the last time i spoke with you uh, we were talking about a good news story for cork in terms of biodiversity and uh, uh, and the environs and the city and so on. We were talking about the role of a tree officer that uh, they had established in the council there. Do you think if, if that role had been filled that we'd be having a different conversation now? Uh, yes, I, I, I do, frankly. I mean, that was back in November, I think, that um, appointment or that, that uh, decision was announced. Um, and that... Uh, to, 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 to my knowledge, that hasn't been advertised. Uh, we haven't certainly appointed a tree officer. And I've got to think that if, if there was a, a discussion at a table somewhere where, where this development uh, a, 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 and these changes to the Greenway were discussed, it would be great to have somebody advocating for trees and green spaces at that table and saying, look, we understand we need access, we need to improve access and so on, but hold on a minute, can we retain... Uh, as much biodiversity and as much of these trees as possible. So I do think the council needs to uh, or, or rather urgently progress that decision, which they have made, and it's a really good thing and a really good and a progressive move by the council. Uh, but let's let's actually get some action on that and let's appoint somebody to that role. And that is Dr Owen Latisse, who's a lecturer in plant science at UCC.